everyone, it is Keisha from Keisha Knows Nothing or a little bit of something. And today's video is all about the five things that I regret buying. We all have some retail regrets, so comment below if any of the items that I mentioned in this video you can relate to, you've been there, you've done that, you have some regrets as well. Make sure you subscribe and thumbs up the video and I would love to talk to you guys. So make sure you comment below if any of these regrets of mine are also regrets of yours. The first item I want to mention is social media skincare faves. You know, you've seen them on TikTok, you've seen them on Instagram and on Facebook, but some of these skincare items I have tried and I definitely regret buying them. Um, one thing is The Ordinary. I bought their, um, I think it had zinc in it and something else um, because I have oily skin. Well, I have combination skin, but I mainly bought it for the oily parts of my face and um, it didn't really work for me. I started using it maybe in July or so, mid-July, end of July. And I used it faithfully, religiously for like over a month and it never really did much for my skin. So, <laughs> but if any of you know, the ordinary skincare products, they are fairly inexpensive. Um, some of them can get a little pricey, but for the most part, they're fairly inexpensive. So although it is a retail regret of mine, um, it's not a big, big issue as far as how it affected my pocketbook but hey every penny you know counts it goes somewhere also another product was i think it's serav CeraVe. i see the CeraVe serav products y'all know i am bad with pronunciation when it comes to certain things <laughs> if you watch the channel enough you know i'll be mispronouncing some things but um, yeah, I tried the product and it was way too strong for my face. It was very stripping. Um, it left my face very dry and flaky in a lot of areas and I was not into it at all. So um, yeah, I know that you know, TikTok and, and Instagram and Snapchat and stuff like that, you know, they may show people with this, you know, miracle results for their skin, um, but it don't always work. DIY stuff and supplies. You guys, this is another TikTok, Instagram type thing because sometimes you see those, you know, DIYs online and they make it look so simple, so easy, and it's not going to take a lot of effort at all. And you guys, I currently have a bag of DIY supplies sitting in front of me in my office that I was supposed to do a DIY like in spring and I never got to it because I'm struggling, okay? I just, I had an idea. I don't even remember what the idea was because I haven't looked at the DIY supplies since I bought it. Um, these things happen. I know I'm not the only one, but like sometimes you see stuff online and you're like, oh, that would be so cute. I could make that myself. It looks so easy. And then you get home and you realize you don't have the time to do these things. And you haven't really thought it through as to whether or not it's a good idea to have it in the first place. Like, what are you gonna do with it? Where are you gonna put it? So I don't know if anybody can relate to me when it comes to the DIY supplies, but yeah, been there, done that, and I should not have done that. Another thing is um, paper planners and agendas. Do people still call them agendas? I don't know. I mean, that was kind of a thing when I was younger to call them agendas, but um, yeah. <laughs> I am, I love writing things down. I, it helps me remember things, but the older I get, the more I'm just dependent on my phone. I think a lot of us are. I use my notes app. I use a calendar in my phone to remind me of things because paper stuff, I don't know, I'm good for like a week, two weeks, and then I stray and I just, I'm too tired to write it down. I'm too tired to have to go grab my planner. And I'm the type of person, I don't wanna have a lot of stuff with me. So I'm not gonna wanna pack my planner around with me. And so I just, adulting has not allotted me the time or the energy to have a paper planner. It just hasn't. 
Um, for me and me and my husband, we use a dry erase board. We have a, a calendar on that and we just kind of keep track of appointments and holidays and just things going on with us. If we're off work on a particular day, we just write that down on the dry erase board and each month we wipe it down and we put you know the new month on it and we put the new stuff on there and that's just what we do. It saves on paper and it saves on time and anything else like groceries and stuff like that, I just put it in my phone because it's so much easier for me to do it that way. So if you are a paper planner type of person or an agenda person, comment below, let me know how you do it. Like, let, let me know your secrets. I'm not saying I'm gonna follow these secrets. I'm not saying I'm gonna use these tips, but somebody else who reads the comments just might do so. so share your wealth of knowledge when it comes to planning, okay? <laughs> this next one, I didn't necessarily purchase it, but it was a Christmas gift. It was actually a Christmas gift from my husband. <laughs> but it is an electric or battery operated toothbrush. Um, yeah, this is one of those things that um, is good in theory, but practical day-to-day -day use, it just did not work for me. Um, I think I ended up taking the batteries out and using it for something else. And that was pretty much the death of the electric toothbrush for me um, because I never replaced the batteries and I really didn't feel like I needed to because manually brushing was fine for me. Um, I mean, when you think about it, the cost of electric toothbrush, you could probably get between the, the actual toothbrush, the batteries and the replacement toothbrush head, bristle heads, um, you could probably get like a three or four pack of just manual, regular toothbrushes <laughs> for that amount. So to me, it's nice to have an electric toothbrush if you're going to be very, you know, strict about it and, you know, but I personally just kind of felt like I was doing fine with the manual. So I just kind of eventually strayed from that. Um, I appreciate the thought, but I eventually strayed from it and never returned to it, so just being honest. I also wanna mention like charcoal whitening kits as well. Um, we had ours sitting in our bathroom forever. I think my husband used it once. And other than that, we just never really used it. So um, yeah, I mean, we really stick to just like the toothpaste and the whitening rinses and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the charcoal thing just never caught on. I personally never used it, so. Yeah, that was that was that. So it was kind of a regret in a way. It was kind of a waste. I want to say high heels because I'm I'm not a super tall girl, but I am I guess kind of tall. I guess I'm a short tall girl. I'm five seven and a half. And um I have friends who are taller than me, so I'm not super tall, but I'm I'm fairly tall, I guess. And so I don't really feel the need to buy heels that often, but sometimes heels are what set off a look. I haven't purchased any heels lately because of the whole pandemic and I haven't gone anywhere. But in the past, yes, I did purchase heels and wore them once, if once, if if once, maybe not even. And um, yeah, they ended up being a waste of money. You know, that just happens. Trendy accessories, been there, done that as well. <laughs> they look cute online and then you get it and then you're like, when am I gonna wear this? Or your plans fall through and the outfits you were gonna wear them with and didn't work out, it didn't happen. Yeah, I've been there, done that. Thank God for places like Poshmark and eBay where you can just resell these items. Even Facebook Market, you can resell these items. You know, it happens to all of us when it comes to that. Of course, it's great to have heels because you never know what occasion may arise where heels are just something you need to have for your outfit. But I kind of had to get away from buying them just because they're cute because then I end up wasting them because I'm not wearing them. So <laughs> any of these happen to be some of your regrets, comment below, let me know your retail regrets. Um, or if I didn't mention some that you may have that you think other people are probably in the same boat as you, comment below as well. Oh, and I wanna say hi to the new subscribers. 
Hey guys, I'm happy to have you here and uh, thank you for being a part of this channel. Make sure you thumbs it up and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.